So now let's see another type of filter that you can use inside of Google Data Studio. And one of them is an advanced filter. So I'm just going to click and delete out the uh, input box right here and then go around on to add a control. And here you can see advanced filter is an option. So now what you can do right here with this is you can go around and see that console. You can see con contains right here. So let me just go around and say uh, if something contains E and press enter, then it shows no data right here. So let me just press capital E and press enter. Then you can see that it shows NES right here. Similarly, let me just go around and say contains A right here. So it shows nothing right, um, uh, nothing right there. But if I were to go around and press I, a small I maybe right here, then it shows Switch and PlayStation because both of them contains I, as you can see right here. You can also go around and say starts with. So I want to show something that starts with NE right here. Then what happens is that it filters out the NES data, as you can see right here. And similarly, you can go around and uh, select out different things as you can see. For example, I want to show something in NES right here just like this, then it shows it up. And that is how you can use the advanced filter. You can use the options that you see right here and then filter out the data according to how you want. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.